Salut la famille! Hola familia! Hello beautiful family! If it is your first time stopping by, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment, and do not forget to hit that notification button to always be notified whenever I post new videos. Today we are going to be doing something, I don't really know I have to call that balls, bones, or rolls, but whatever the case, we will be doing that, but it's especially for people on diet. Yes, so if you are battling with your diet or you are already on a diet journey, this video is for you. Keep on watching. So for our rolls, bones for bones, we will need the following ingredients. We need, we need oats. We have need lavoine. We have to make the gâteau. Mais des gâteaux bio. Aquí necesitaremos avena para uh, bicochos que estamos haciendo. Oil. You can substitute this with uh, butter as well. Uh, nous avons besoin de l'huile. Vous pouvez aussi utiliser de, du beurre. Uh, necesitaremos aceite. También puedes usar mantequilla. Just to make it a little sweet, I would use uh, honey. You can use sugar but I prefer honey to sugar. Donc nous avons besoin du, du miel, vous pouvez utiliser le sucre si vous préférez, mais parce que c'est, nous voulons que ce soit vraiment bio, je vais utiliser du miel. On commence à usar miel, pero podés usar azúcar, pero yo voy con miel. We need baking powder, nous avons besoin de la levure, levadura. Esto es limón, limón natural. Là, nous avons besoin du jus de, du limon et uh, this is lemon juice. Un egg, un oeuf, un huevo. To begin with, we would need warm water. I mean warm water, not hot and not cold. So this is warm water. Pour commencer, nous aurons besoin de l'eau tiède, agua tibia. The warm water we are going to add some baking powder. Dans l'eau tiède, nous ajoutons de la levure, environ demi cuillerée, about half a teaspoon. Podemos levadura en el agua. Nous allons ajouter euh, de l'huile. Podemos aceite. I'm not going to be putting a lot of oil. Je vais pas mettre beaucoup d'huile. No voy a poner mucho aceite. I will put just a little bit of honey. Juste pour que ça, ça soit un peu sucré. Et je vais juste rajouter un tout, un tout petit peu de miel. Le jus de limon. A nuestra mezcla, aumento el, el limon natural. So I go ahead and put in our Lemon juice. So this, I break the egg. On ajoute notre oeuf. I will give it a very good mix. We let this set for about five minutes. Là, nous allons le couvrir et le laisser pour environ cinq minutes. Lo tapamos y lo dejamos por ahí cinco minutos. Mientras tanto, vamos a seguir con nuestra Avena. We will continue with our oats. What we would want to do right now is just go ahead and blend it. Lo vamos a moler. On va l'écraser pour avoir une peau très fine. We have our flour well blended. Vamos a hacer este good stir again. On le mélange encore bien avant d'ajouter notre peau. Bit by bit. And you can also do pancakes with this if you don't want to make balls or bones or whatever they call it. So I just had the idea that if we can actually make this with all purpose flour, why not making it in a healthier way? And I thought of trying to do this with oats. I just had something in mind. I'm just going to keep some of this so that we will try together and make pancakes and see if pancakes can actually work with this. Nous allons juste retirer une petite quantité de ce mélange et 
Et bien plus tard, je vais essayer de faire des crêpes pour voir si ça peut donner des crêpes. Voy a hacer es quitar un poco de eso y luego lo voy a veremos si también se puede hacer crêpes con esto. Donc, nous allons garder ça et après nous allons faire des crêpes pour voir si ça va donner. So, I would go ahead and keep this and later we would do pancakes and see if actually this can make pancakes. With the rest of our mixture, it's too soft. I would add some more of the flour. Nous allons ajouter plus de farine. At the point you would notice that it becomes too hard that you can deal with the spoon anymore. So, après vous allez vous rendre compte que ça devient tellement épais qu'on ne pourra plus utiliser la cuillère. I would not be using an oven. I would do that on on a pot. So, it's another way for you to see how you can do things to not necessarily using an oven all the time. There's always an alternative. Donc, je veux utiliser une marmite pour le faire, mais si vous avez euh, un four, vous pouvez le mettre dans le four. Lo voy a hacer en una olla, pero si tenéis horno, lo podéis hacer en un horno. So, I'm just going to put some water in my pot and put on fire. Donc, j'ai juste mis un peu d'eau. I just put small quantity of water in the pot. He puesto una pequeña cantidad de agua en la olla. Y... Well, let's While the water is on the fire, we would continue dealing with our mixture. I washed my hands, so... Mientras el agua está en el fuego, seguimos con nuestra mezcla. So, like I said before, this, you can add um, milk, you can go ahead and add sugar, you can go ahead and add a bunch of stuff. But this is strictly diet for you to know when your mixture has the perfect consistency once you notice that the paste is actually cleaning up the pan it means that the consistency is good si queréis podéis usar harina podéis usar podéis poner leche podéis poner azúcar depende de cada uno pero esto es estrictamente para los que están haciendo dieta donc, comme je disais tantôt, vous pouvez ajouter tout ce que vous voulez, mais là, c'est strictement bio. We will continue by greasing our baking pan. Vous pouvez utiliser euh, de l'huile d'olive, peu importe. Ou du beurre. Farine. So now our water is really boiling the way to cook. Now we go ahead and put our rolls or balls, whatever, inside. We put that on medium heat and we let it on fire for about 30 minutes. Lo dejamos en el fuego por media hora. So while that is on, is on the fire, remember I removed some of the paste so that we can try pancakes to see if it would actually work. Don't oublie pas que nous avons retiré euh, une quantité de pâte pour essayer de crêper les choses. Nous allons ajouter ici. Over. Go ahead. Let's do the 
works as well just that you won't have the brownness you would have when you do that this is the end product so we have come to the end of this video and you already know what this part is all about i have the pancakes here what i can say is for the pancake the consistency is okay it means that with oats we can actually make pancakes so let me see how it tastes i can feel the lemon in it it's not sweet that is why it's for diet right if you want to have the perfect gold brown color then you want to do that i really like the fact that the lemon is really in there just perfect for people that are trying to battle on their weight loss and that are dieting it's just perfect après avoir goûté les crêpes nous pouvons constater que avec de l'avoine effectivement nous pouvons réaliser nos crêpes sont aussi parfait parce que c'est pour le régime donc on n'a pas besoin de trop de sucre on avait là podemos hacer crêpes et ça les it's selling muy bien. So please tell me what you think about this recipe. Perhaps there's a way in which we can make it better for people on diet because this is strictly for people on diet, like I said earlier. I really want to know what this is really called in English. Is it balls, buns, or rolls? Please comment below and thank you so much for always supporting me. See you in my next video. Bye bye.